I don't always use this technique, but I do want to really want to make my pores look smaller. So just shake this a little bit and then spray. And then I get a tissue and squeeze it in there. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel, which is all about educational beauty. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to make the pores look really, really tiny. So we're talking about how to minimize the appearance of pores through skincare, but also makeup. It's this whole process. So there isn't just one thing. I'm showing you the entire process that's honestly gonna be the best technique for you to be able to kind of like make those pores look like you can't even see them and it's super smooth. So anyway, before we head into this video, if you do like this video, then please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. And I'm also on Instagram where you can check out my stories or reels for unboxing or just general how-to videos. So let's jump straight into the video. I know this is gonna be a popular video because so many of you guys have been asking about how to make pores look tiny, super small, so that you can't even see them. We can't completely get rid of them because we all have pores and we're always gonna have pores, but we can do certain things like techniques and use certain products in combination to make them look really small and you know look like super smooth and hardly there. So that's what we're gonna to do today and it all starts with skincare. So skincare is a big part of it because if you don't start off right, then it's gonna make it harder to kind of like conceal those areas later on and make the area look tight and smooth before we get started well actually I'm gonna do this like I'm gonna tell you while I'm putting my skincare on I'm using this cream which I don't know how to pronounce I'm just gonna put it up on the screen it has been a blessing over the last few days so basically what's happened is I used an eye cream and I reacted and it isn't an allergic an allergic reaction so don't get me wrong so I'm not gonna sit here and say that oh my god slate the eye cream I'm gonna tell you about that in a second but it isn't it is a reaction it's basically my under eyes so like it this is actually a lot better today like it's super puffy right now they are looking super dry and like when I go like that they're so super wrinkly underneath and normally I don't have that like it's usually pretty smooth underneath and it's like just really dry and this one seems to have reacted worse like it's extra puffy but over the this is actually a lot better today it looked like I had golf balls under my eyes it looked really bad I've just been feeling really kind of like oh my god what do I do because it just it was just even with makeup on if anything I feel like it looks worse so it was just really difficult but it's super dry under there now I used a retinol a retinoid eye cream and I'm my skin is used to retinol I've been using it for years and I'm just gonna put this cream just I'm just putting it down here and I'm just gonna because it's naturally gonna kind of like gravitate towards that area make sure it doesn't go too close this has been this has literally honestly been such a blessing because of what i've gone through it's been really good because basically i put the eye cream on every night for three nights it only took three nights to get like this guys so you know you've got to be careful with eye creams it didn't say anything about you know slowly get yourself into it it's good for sensitive eyes so i was like okay it's fine it says daily use every night used it every night for three days and then that's it this is the only thing that doesn't st it doesn't sting now yeah anyway so that's what happened and then i've been icing every morning to help it i actually did let the brand know and they've been really good about it taking it on board i basically read online that it's happened to a few people so i don't know if i use too much or maybe I should have just started it once a week I just it's just something that I think probably should have been on the label that you know just use it once a week it was the Sunday Riley five stars eye cream I actually do want to use it so I know this sounds weird but I'm not totally put off from the eye cream because I feel like it does work I from what I've read the results as well and I'm really excited about using a retinoid eye cream but I probably should have known better too I am gonna let this all go down and then use it once a week very small amount and then slowly build myself up but yeah yeah, so that, that's basically what happened and I guess this is just you know me telling you guys be careful with certain things like especially when they're more potent ingredients like things that are all natural and they're not retinols and things like that you know go for it they're generally quite kind on the skin but if you are really into using retinols which I am just be a little bit careful because you, you've got to wean yourself into it if you see what I mean just wanted to be honest with you guys because I'm always honest on this channel I want to be straight up but also you know I am gonna continue using it just gonna wait a little while I know I'm crazy but I actually do think it's gonna work really well I'm using my Lancer Advanced Retinol Treatment this is really good by the way to kind of like smooth 
your skin over and it is also good for your pores so just kind of like putting that over my skin next up we are going to put my moisturizer on and i'm using my wind marrakesh rich because i love this moisturizer i've nearly finished it i think quite a few of you this also by the way helps to like make pores look minimized some of you have been using the wind products i know you've bought them what do you think of it because i absolutely love the range so tell me what you think now i have a lot more kind of like open pores and kind of acne scarring on this side of my face it's really annoying because this side is my better side so i'm going to use my smashbox photo finish pore minimizing primer probably one of the best primers on the market for minimizing the look of pores and what i'm going to do is i've got a small amount and it's very pasty right so don't rub it into the skin basically apply it in every direction so i'm not just going to put it on and smooth it over i'm kind of like going up going down like cross 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 and it really kind of like smooths over that area like already that area looks better to me so that's what i'm doing on targeted areas and that's something i learned just generally through experience that just applying it isn't enough you've got to apply it in the right way and it's really just kind of like smoothing over that it already that looks so much better to me okay we're going to do the same on the other side that's really the only places that I want to really focus on minimizing the pores because that's where I feel like they stand out a little bit more to me. Guys, also, this is quite a kind of milestone, I would say. I never thought YouTube would kick off the way it has kicked off, right? My Instagram, I think YouTube, by the time this video goes out, I think my YouTube subscribers have overtaken my Instagram followers. Yeah, I think it's. I think by, by the time this video goes out, my YouTube subscribers would have overtaken my Instagram. Instagram followers that is insane in a year what like that is insane but anyway it's making me super excited about what is to come because so much is to come next step is we want to put some concealer on right so I'm just going to quickly do the eyelids and just get that started because obviously we don't want to leave that bit out this is just my Tarte shape tape I'm just going to very quickly buff this in I know that I get some amazing comments for you guys and honestly I read every single one trust me I do every single one I read I cannot always reply to every single one because it's just I'm, I'm I really hope you can understand and I, I think you will you know because you guys like you, you're very understanding and I feel like you know you get it that there is a it's quite a big workload that I have and when it comes to the comments I do reply when I can but I have like I go through all of them but some honestly like I know you yourself individually might think oh I sent a really nice long comment questioning like questions and stuff like that but if you could just for a second understand that there's probably another 30 40 50 people who have done the same thing so it becomes really difficult for me to be able to like individually respond and answer those questions so I always take it on board trust me i'm telling you everything gets gets absorbed and then i try and kind of like give you the answer through my videos <laughs> so it may not happen straight away because obviously there's only a num set number of videos i'm doing but i do try my best and i will i promise you i read everything i just set that by the way very quickly with my powder that was my ben i banana powder that's my Tarte Shape Tape in 35N Medium. And then this is my Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in Warm Beige. I'm gonna be putting this on other areas because this is actually gonna help with minimizing the pores a little bit as well. Just roughly. Now this is my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Complexion Brush and I'm now buffing this into my skin. So this is like a thin layer. You can put on however much you want, by the way, guys. Like, don't look at this and think, oh my God, she's putting so much concealer on. That's way too much. It might be too much for you, but it works really well for me. Just put on however much you feel that you need for your face. I'm showing you the technique. Okay, we buff that in. This kind of acts like, I would say, it just gives you that kind of really thin veil of coverage, because that's ultimately what we're doing here, coverage. But also it acts as something to give 
give a more uniform finish as well as what the foundation does. So it's giving you that coverage as well as that uniform finish. And then the foundation gives you that veil of color, which ties everything together. I always feel like I want that extra smoothness. So this in turn will help with making your pores look smaller. Okay, <laughs> under eyes, this seems like a real struggle for me at the moment. So I'm gonna very lightly buff this in and you may be able to see how puffy it is. Just gonna quickly sculpt a little bit. Don't really want too much, so I'm just doing this roughly because I'm not too fussed. Just gonna get that Hollywood complexion brush again and just buff this in to keep the shapes there. Just gonna let, I'm just gonna like really quickly do this bit. Okay, now we're going to move on to foundation and I'm using my Tarte Face Tape Foundation which is basically finished and I literally rushed to Sephora yesterday to pick up a new bottle. I honestly, there is so much you can still get out of this guys. Like I, when I open it up and I'm like, I cannot throw that away. Now what I tend to do is just grab something to get you know, really get it out. And I have like a, this is just like a, it's actually a brush stick without the brush on it. Cause you know when the brush ball thing falls out, you can still use it. So I use one end to apply like lash glue to my lashes. And then this end I can literally just like, put that on the back of my hand. Oh my God, there's like so much. <gasps> there's another like, another, face in there so this is my real technique sponge i'm getting my milk hydro grip refresh spray i like this to kind of like just it really keeps my makeup in place i don't always use this technique but i do when i really want to make my pores look smaller so just shake this a little bit and then spray and then i get a tissue and squeeze it in there i go into my foundation on the back of my hand and then I start buffing this into my skin and I really love the nice kind of like finish this gives by spraying it first and I keep going if I need to like what I tend to do is like spray <laughs> you know so it doesn't get like completely wet spray you know how you do a perfume where you spray and then you walk into it I do that with my sponge So I'm really kind of like buffing into the skin, making sure that I like really, you know, like get a nice even finish with that foundation. Right now I've put foundation everywhere, right? And I've used certain techniques throughout the way from the beginning, like skincare, spray, the primer, you know, all those kind of things. And the technique that I've used, those have made a difference already. Now, the reason being is because if I would usually put my foundation on and do everything as I usually do without the spray, without the primer, without that skincare like in the way that I've applied it, I would not get this finish so far without setting powder. So like at this point, you would be able to see my pores a lot more, like a lot more. So right now, even though I can still see them, they're, they're already reduced so much because of those little techniques and products that I've used and the way that I've used them. Now I'm gonna get my powder, which is my banana powder in my, palm of my hand and this is another again another step that makes a big difference first thing i'm going to do is just set my under eyes so i just want to get rid of any creases because there are loads because of currently what my under eyes are like i feel like no matter what i do it's just not going to help right now i don't even see if you i don't even know if you can see it through camera like as well as what i can see it it looks i know that when i've been on my stories and i've looked back at the pictures and i'm on the stories and i'm like that does not look nowhere near as bad as what it looks like face to face Okay, so we've done the under eyes. What I tend to do is just kind of like apply it into these areas. Like where the pores are very open, I like to really press the powder in. Like I'm really focusing on mattifying that area. Everywhere else I can like just roughly put it. Then I get my hourglass veil brush, the big part of the brush, and that's where I just kind of like dust off lightly. The brush is almost like skimming my face. It's not pressing very hard. Then my under eyes, which is with the Real Technique setting brush. Don't expect too much of a drastic difference here, guys, because <laughs> why, 
my under eyes are. Oh, they have mine of their own at the moment. I've set my base. Now I still need to do everything else on my face, which doesn't really have anything to do with my pores. So just give me a sec. Let me just go finish off my brows, eyes, lips, that kind of stuff. I'll be back because there's one more step, which is super important. And it really does kind of like help to seal the deal so that your pores do not look like they even, there's like nothing there. It's super smooth. I'll be back in a sec. And I am back guys, finished off the rest of my face as you can see and now this we're going to move on to the last step. So this last step that I was talking about is actually a setting spray. I don't really use setting sprays a lot, I'll be honest, but this specific one I feel like really does the job and you can use it on your own if you want to but I do feel like when you use everything together it works really well. By the way I have applied some bronzer blush and stuff on my skin other than the other obvious bits. I have used powder. So so what, one little piece of advice I would give you, if you've done everything in the same way that I've applied it and the same textures like you've set with powder, don't use cream on top of this now because it's going to completely ruin your makeup. Anything which has any kind of shine to it or sheen to it is going to enhance any flaws or uneven kind of bumpiness or open pores. It's going to enhance it straight away. So if you really want to avoid seeing any of that, then just stay away from shine in general. This is the Benefit Cosmetics professional super setter. I'm not applying this for the setting. I honestly like using this because it actually genuinely does help to make your pores look a little bit smaller. Yeah, this is why I like using it. I don't use it all the time, but I do use it when I'm doing this whole routine. It just softens, it just blurs the appearance of it a bit more. I mean, already you can't really see my pores that obviously, but I like to kind of like apply this at the end. You can spray it on or you can use a sponge. I tell you what, I'm gonna use a sponge to show you how I how that works because spraying anyone can do that, right? But sometimes I like to spray this on the sponge and then press the sponge into the sink skin what that does is it actually helps to it's more targeted so you're not just spraying it because you don't know where that spray is going to get you know where it's going to get to more so if you put it on a sponge and press it into the skin especially the areas that you're worried about it really does help to focus on that area you know that that problem area so i'm just going to spray this i'll spray the other side of the sponge actually i'm just going to press this in it's just damp don't wet the sponge so that it's like wet you know just kind of like lightly press and what you'll find is if it will actually soften the look of the whole powdery finish because we've just applied hot powder to the skin so it just won't look so kind of dark you know other than that you could just spray and it's a good spray it's not one of those ones where you get droplets everywhere hopefully that has shown you how you can minimize the appearance of pores and every step along the way helps you can use them individually if you want to but honestly if you want the best way to minimize the appearance of pores this whole process that i used works really really well and honestly i have really open pores along this area and now it just looks super smooth so i hope that you've enjoyed this and if you have any questions then don't forget to let me know in the comments box below I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you've seen how you can make the pores look smaller. If you have any questions, then please do let me know in the comments box below. Don't forget that all the products listed in this video are also listed in the description box below and you have a 10% discount off Sigma Beauty from me, which is Nina Ubi 10. As always, if you do like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. Until the next video, take care and I'll see you soon.